Welcome to our channel. Civil Engineering Basics. For more videos please subscribe, Civil Engineering Basics. In this lecture we will discuss about building parts and its requirements. Building parts are Plinth Habitable rooms Kitchen Bathrooms and water closets Ledge or and slash loft Mezzanine floor Storeroom Garage Basement Chimneys Parapet Boundary wall Septic tank Office come letter box room Meter room Staircase slash exit requirements Roof Now first let's discuss the plinth. In main buildings, the plinth or any part of a building or outhouse shall be so located with respect to the surrounding ground level that adequate drainage of the site is assured. The height of the plinth shall be not less than 450 mm from the surrounding ground level. In interior courtyards and covered parking, Every interior courtyard shall be raised at least 150 mm above the determining ground level and shall be satisfactorily drained. Now first let's discuss the about habitable room. Height requirement. The height of all rooms for human habitation shall not be less than 2.75 meter measured from the surface of their floor to the lowest point of the ceiling, bottom of slab. In the case of pitch roof, the average height of rooms shall not be less than 2.75 meter. The minimum clear head room under a beam, folded plates or eaves shall be 2.4 meter. In the case of air-conditioned rooms, a height of not less than 2.4 meter measured from the surface of the floor to their lowest point of air-conditioning duct or the full ceiling shall be provided. Height for Educational and Industrial Buildings Educational Building Ceiling height of 3.6 meter for all regions, in cold regions, 3 meter height is sufficient. Industrial building, ceiling height 3.6 meters should be minimum, except when air conditioned, 3 meter height is sufficient. Now let's discuss the size of habitable room. The area of habitable room shall not be less than 9.5 square meter. Where there is only one room with a minimum width of 2.4 meter as shown in upper plan. Where there are two rooms, one of these shall not be less than 9.5 square meter and the other not less than 7.5 square meter, with a minimum width of 2.1 meter as shown in below plan. Now let's discuss requirements of kitchen. First discuss about height of kitchen. The height of a kitchen measured from the surface of the floor to the lowest point in the ceiling, bottom slab, shall not be less than 2.75 meter, except for the portion to accommodate floor trap of the upper floor. Now let's discuss the size requirement of kitchen. The area of a kitchen where separate dining area is provided, shall be not less than 5.0 square meter with a minimum width of 1.8 meter. Where there is a separate store, the area of the kitchen may be reduced to 4.5 square meter. A kitchen, which is intended for use as a dining area also, shall have a floor area of not less than 7.5 square meter with a minimum width of 2.1 meter. Now let's discuss other requirements of kitchen. Every room to be used as kitchen shall have first, 
unless separately provided in a pantry, means for the washing of kitchen utensils which shall lead directly or through a sink to a grated and trapped connection to the waste pipe. Second, an impermeable floor. Third, a flue, if found necessary, and last is, a window or ventilator. Now let's discuss requirements of bathrooms and water closets. First of all discuss about height requirement of bathrooms and water closets. The height of a bathroom or water closet measured from the surface of the floor to the lowest point in the ceiling, bottom of slab, shall not be less than 2.1 meter. Now let's discuss the size of bathrooms and water closets. The area of a bathroom shall not be less than 1.8 square meter with a minimum width of 1.2 meter. The floor area of water closet shall be 1.1 square meter with a minimum width of 0.9 meter. If bath and water closet are combined, its floor area shall not be less than 2.8 square meter with a minimum width of 1.2 meter. Now let's discuss other requirements of bathrooms and water closets. Every bathroom or water closet shall be so situated that at least one of its walls shall open to external air. Every bathroom or water closet shall not be directly over or under any room other than another water closet, washing place, bath or terrace, unless it has a watertight floor. Every bathroom or water closet shall have the platform or seat made of watertight non-absorbent material. Every bathroom or water closet shall be enclosed by walls or partitions and the surface of every such wall or partition shall be finished with a smooth impervious material to a height of not less than one meter above the floor of such a room. Every bathroom or water closet shall be provided with an impervious floor covering, sloping towards the drain with a suitable grade and not towards veranda or any other room, and every bathroom or water closet shall have a window or ventilator, opening to a shaft or open space, of area not less than 0.3 square meter with side, not less than 0.3 meter. Every bathroom or water closet shall, shall not open directly into any kitchen or cooking space by a door, window or other opening. Every room containing water closet shall have a door completely closing the entrance to it. Thank you so much for viewing this video. For more video on civil engineering subscribe my channel. Civil Engineering Basics